Hey guys, welcome back to another EDH video. Today's video, we got a four man commander pre cons from Modern Horizons 3 video. Um, I am playing Ulalek Fused Atrocity, keeping a shrine of for the Sur Forsaken Gods, Toasted Landscape, Tranquil Landscape, Forest, Talisman of Impulse, Azalask, the Swelling Scourge, and Ulamog's Crusher. Joey is playing Disa the Restless, keeping a Path of Ancestry, Swamp, Raging Ravine, Mountain, Forest, Tranquil Thicket, and Karam the Undertaker. Tyler is playing Omo, Queen of Vesuva, keeping a Talon, Gates of Mardarara, Lumbering Falls, Volatile Fault, Pongify, Sylvan Scrying, Mirage Mirror, and Sage of the Maze. Damien is back playing Satya, Aetherflux, Genius, keeping a Plains, Frostbolt Snarl, Island, Another Plains, Decocation Module, Unstable Amulet, and a Bespoke Battle Wagon. Damien starts off on the play and reveals an island and plays a Frostbolt Snarl. Passing to me, I play a... Twisted Landscape, I sacrifice it, and go search for a Swamp, Mountain, or Forest card. I get a Swamp, pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a Lumbering Falls. He then passes to Joey. Joey plays a Forest, passing to Damien. Damien plays a Plains and plays the Deck Cushion module. Don't know how to pronounce it, but that's I'm trying. Pass to me. I play a Forest and tap my Forest and my Swamp for a Talisman of Impulse. And pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a Talis, Talon Gates of Murdara. Then passes to Joey. Joey plays a mountain and passes to Damien. Damien plays a coalition relic and passes to me. I play a tranquil lake landscape. Searching for a island. I then play Azalask with a swelling scourge. Pass to Tyler. Tyler then plays a volatile fault. Tap in three and playing Omo. Enters the battlefield. He uh, puts a everything bagel on the volatile fault. And passes to Joey. Joey plays a swamp. <clears throat> passes to Damien. Damien plays a plains and then plays an Aether Refinery. Passing to me. I play a Cave of Coolios. I then tap four for Ulek, the Fused Atrocity. Pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a Desert of the Indomitable. Enters the battlefield tapped. And plays a Sage of the Maze. And then passes to Joey. Joey plays a Path of Ancestry. Passing to Damien. Damien plays a Sphinx of the Revelation. He creates two energy. And then passes to me. I play a Reliquary Tower. Tap one for a Soul Ring. And then tap six for an Endbringer. And then pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a Sylvan Scrying. Searching for a land. Puts a cloud post on the battlefield. He actually puts it in untapped. It's supposed to enter the battlefield tapped. He actually puts it into his hand that plays it for turns. Supposed to enter tapped, but for some reason a cheater. Uh, but he still would have had enough mana to do what he does. He plays a Mirage Mirror. He then taps for the uh, the Sage of the Maze and untaps it. And then plays a Sirius Sundial. He just made a bunch of extra mana. He would have been okay if he didn't. Like He would have been fine if he didn't put it into the battlefield uh, untapped. Uh, then passes to Joey. Joey plays a Barogoyf. He then passes to Damien. Damien swings Satya. Plays Satya and then swings at Tyler. And Tyler pongifies the Sphinx. But he still gets a copy of it from the attack trigger. <clears throat> he then passes to me. I play a Shivan Reef. And then uh, tap two and draw a card but i didn't realize that it was only on a cast i could copy the ability but i did but it's okay i didn't really draw anything it doesn't affect the game i pass to tyler tyler plays a eureka moment and then plays a dream root cascade and plays an adventure of zendikar he then plays a planar nexus Getting a plus and plus encounter on his plants. He passes to Joey. She plays Karam, the Undertaker. Before before that, she played a uh, Veridus and Bog. Um, then passes passes to Damien. Damien plays a professional face breaker. Tyler taps for an arcane denial and counters it. <clears throat> he then plays a demolition field for land return. I ping him for one with my Endbringer and then. He passes me. I play a Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, and tap out and play Olamog's Crusher, and I copy it. So I have two. 
had the pass to Tyler. Tyler was a Yavimaya Coast. Getting a plus plus counter on his stuff because he makes his uh, Mirage Mirror a copy of his adventures in a car. <clears throat> I deal Damien one damage. Uh, <clears throat> Joey just plays a Anger and then passes to Damien. Damien plays a thing to get his professional face breaker back to the battlefield by paying energy. He then casts an Aether Works Marvel. He then swings Satya at Tyler. He then does his Aether Works uh, thing. He gets the top six. He puts out a Lightning Runner from the top six. Then passes to me. I play an Exotic Orchard. I then cast a Hedron Archive. I then tap my thing and draw a card. I then cast an Eldrazi Monument. Giving my stuff plus one plus one flying and indestructible. I then swing two annihilators at uh, Damien. He sacrifices some stuff. I then pass to Tyler. He plays a Lush Oasis. He then passes two to Joey. <clears throat> Joey casts Deez of the Restless. And passes to Damien. Damien plays in Gonthi's Aetherheart. He plays Broodclad. I ping him for one. He then does his Gaunt Aether and takes an extra turn and exiles it. <clears throat> he does his Aether work, Marvel, and looks at the top six. Gets a Solemn Simulacrum, which is going to help him much here because I'm just going to absolutely <laughs> destroy him with my Annihilators. Um, he plays Satya. I think she died at some point. And then swings with the Brute Clad token, which is a Sphinx. It passes to me, I play a Waste Escape Battle Mage, Kicker it, so I exile a Enchant Artifact so I get the Sphinx. And then play a Herald's Horn, choosing Eldrazi. And then swing the Annihilators at Damien again. And I think he just straight scoops it up here. And I pass Tyler. Tyler plays a Hour of Promise, searching for two land cards, putting them on the battlefield, and then creating two Black Zombies. So he gets Summit Guildgate, and he gets another land, Flooded Grove. On the battlefield, they both come untapped, I believe. His uh, he now has six eleven zeros or something like that. And then passes to Joey. Joey plays grapple with the past, gets a swamp back to his hand, her hand. She then passes to me. I play all his dust, and then Tyler plays summary dismissal, excelling all their spells and counter abilities. Um, I play selective obliteration. Tyler just chooses green, and he just gets to sacrifice Omo. Uh, yeah, I died to a bunch of plants there. Pretty much is what happens. Uh, he replays Omo though, and then plays Rampant Fraganchu. 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 Pretty cool card. Uh, and then plays Desert of Mindful. I, I'm definitely just dead to a bunch of plants. Yep. Five, uh, five, twelve zeros or twelve thirteens, I think, and then a five, five adventure, and then he. Passes to Joey, and Joey literally does nothing, and then passes back, and yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, it was a good game, Tyler. Omo just seems to take over the game every time it's played. Like, especially the way the deck build. It's pretty pretty good pre-con. The energy was pretty good, too. I like the energy deck. I um, did a lot there. The Sphinx, like, being able to just attack every time for free, pretty much, was a uh, big part of the game there. It attacked, like, three or four times, but I, I literally forgot to say, but... It did attack a bunch, and it got a bunch of energy there. That's why you had like 17 at the end of the game. But yeah, good game. Nice pre-cons. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take them and part out a lot of the cards. it got a lot of good reprints in there. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. What's your favorite pre-con from Modern Horizon 3? Peace.